welcome back in this tutorial we will solve some exercises based on what we learned in previous previous tutorial that is modify commands so we will be solving this exercise so here at first we have to set the limit so here 60 60 20 20 40 that is once 160 so 200 200 we will take the limit so at first we will draw this line and this line at first we will draw this line and this line center line we will start from the center let's start so first limits give the limits command enter then lower left corner will be 0 comma 0 enter then upper right corner will be 200 comma 200 then for zoom all z enter a enter then take the line command click first point make ortho on by clicking on this ortho mode on click enter to come out press enter to repeat the command so from midpoint i will track hold for some time and go on the left side so it will track and create this horizontal reference line press enter to come out then next thing is we have created these two lines so this gap is 60 60 and 46 so we will offset those lines offset 60 offset distance is 60 press enter select object to offset give the side again select object give the side and click there again on this side it is 46 key in 46 press enter press enter to come out of the offset command so this reference line has been created so the this inner circle is 23 then 31 and 40 so three circles we will create 23 31 40 so we will take circle radius option give the center point give the radius of 31 again circle center point then give the radius of 40 and 23 radius of 40 press enter to repeat the command again give the center point give the radius of 23 so three circles has been created then we have to create this array so for that we will create this circle at first so 6 hole of dia 10 so at first we will create the circle of diameter 10 so circle radius center point give radius of 5 then we will array it so from here we can create polar array then select object then press enter then specify the center point and so automatically AutoCAD have created array of 6 atoms filling 360 degree so just click on close array so array is created so internal portion is created then these two circles are there one is 15 radius one is 8 8 and 15 so we will create that circle give the center point radius of 8 press enter press enter to repeat the circle command give again center point give radius of 15 so these two circles has been created then next is these two circles one is dia that is 11 radius and other is 18 11 and 18 so again we will say circle center point radius 11 enter center point radius 18 so after that we will create these two arcs using 10 10 radius both have the radius of 8 so we will say 10 10 radius then click on the circles specify the point on object for first tangent so this is the first object this is the second object we will click there 
and give the radius of 8 same way for this circle we can zoom here by rotating scroll button towards monitor so click on this circle and this circle and give radius of 8 so in this way this two has been created then we can trim the unwanted so we will use trim then cutting edges so we will give this object this object and this object as a cutting edges so from here we want to trim then press enter then click on this circle to be trimmed then press enter to come out now we want these two arcs and do these two circles below also so we will just mirror it so mirror select the object this arc circle circle and this arc then enter so mirror specify the first point of mirror line so this line will be the mirror line the center line will is always the mirror line so we will give specific first point give second point then erase source object no is already there so we will just press enter so in this way this mirror is created then this arc of 100 to be created so again we will be creating that using 10 10 radius so 10 10 radius so the circle is touching in this quad uh, quadrant below quadrant and upper quadrant so we will click in the that area this first point here and first point here second point is here and radius is 100 so press enter so in this way this object is created now remaining work is just you we have to trim what is not required so we will say trim so outside the circle will be trimmed from these two circles we will take those two circles then inner portion will be trimmed from these two arcs so so those arc and circle we have taken as a cutting edges then press enter then click on what is not required so it will be trimmed press enter so in this way we have trimmed so internal these two circles needs to be trimmed so we will again say trim in this uh, now I want to trim this circle from this arc to this arc again from this arc to this arc and press enter then trim what is not required press enter to come out so in this way this object is created and unwanted you can break it using break command so we can from here break give the first point from where you want to break and click outside so you can by pressing enter you can repeat the command so in this way unwanted portion can be break broke just press enter and click the points from where you want to break give the second point outside because we want to break the whole line so you'll just give the first point give the outside first point give outside so in this way this object is created then next object is <coughs> this this is the next object so again in this case the outside radius is 30 this one 30 65 so 90 100 and this we will take as a suppose again to in 200 200 limit it will fit properly so we will start new drawing from here new drawing select template we will take select a cad as a template then set the limits limits lower left corner 0 comma 0 upper right corner 200 comma 200 then zoom all z enter a enter now to create this drawing at first we will create this portion so this line this line and this then this portion so two lines we will be creating then we will offset this line at 65 and this line at half of this 55 55 on both side so let's start so line give first point make ortho on by pressing f8 on keyboard press enter to come out again enter to repeat the line command so take other point here other point here 
then offset it at 65 so offset distance is 65 select this line on this side then press enter still you can give the other offset also so offset select object offset give other side here on 55 and again select the center line give a point on the right side again 65 is already there we want actually 55 press enter press enter to come out so in this way we have created this line this line this line and these lines then next is we have to create this circle 20 radius and 31 radius so we will just say circle so here is tantan radius is there we don't want tantan radius we want center radius so give the center point click the center point give the radius of 20 again circle center point give the radius of 31 so in this way these two circles has been created 20 and 31 then next this shape to be created so outside is 8 radius inside is 4 radius so we will create that so it need to be created on this position so we can array it so 8 and 4 so we will take circle center point then radius of suppose 8 press enter to repeat the circle command radius of 4 so in this now inner portion we don't want this inner portion so we will trim that inner portion so just trim cutting edge is this circle then press enter this is not required click on that press enter to come out then we will array it so for that polar array select object enter give the center point click on the center point so array is created close array now this internal portion is not required just say trim now uh, here we can use select all also just press enter and ok that will be actually three clicks alright or uh, to do go is faster we can trim and select the cutting edges as this circle so we can do it faster press enter then click on unwanted objects so we don't have to click three times everywhere again this has remained so trim cutting edges enter press the unwanted object so in this way this object is created now next will be creating these two circles so one is 15 radius other is 10 10 and 15 radius so we will create circle center point radius of 10 enter press enter to repeat the circle command give the radius of 15 now we want the same circle to be here so we will just copy it so say copy click on these two circles press enter then specify the base point so we want the center to be here so this center will be the base point give the second point this intersection point press escape to come out then here one vertical line is there so we will create that vertical line and we will roughly draw it press enter to come out or you can press escape also then here uh, arc of 18 radius arc is there so we will just say fillet then we will have to set the radius so we will click on this radius and radius will be 18 key in the 18 press enter then select first object select second object so this line and arc is created so we want it to be on this side so we will just mirror it mirror select object select arc and line press enter then give the first point of mirror line so this line will be the mirror line so we will take center of this line as a first point and intersection here as a second point so we will click two points then it is source object no option is there I will just press the enter on the keyboard so it, it has been created then next is this circle of, circle of ok radius is not given so circle of 100 radius it is actually so we will create by 
10 10 radius so again we will take circle 10 10 radius then give the point so point are in this quadrant point should be given in this quadrant first point then second point ok first was not clicked properly second point give radius of 100 press enter then trim the unwanted so I will just say trim select cutting edges as these two arcs then enter then this object to be removed enter then these two circles are required to be here so we will copy these two circles so we will say copy select th these two circles enter now this point should come here so this point will be the base point so click there and give this point second point press escape to come out then unwanted portion we can break it using break command so just break click first point give outside point press enter first point outside point press enter give first point outside point click outside enter so in this way you can finalize it and remove the unwanted portion press escape to come out so in this way this second object is also created and we can extend this line by clicking on that and clicking on this grip and just pull it outside and click there and press escape to come out same way here also click come out click escape so in this way this object is created so thanks for joining we will stop here